Sup, y'all? Bring you guys another video. Just bring you guys a uh, quick post fight thoughts video of the Julio Cesar Martinez versus McWilliams Arroyo fight, which took place in the undercard of Andre versus Cooley over in New Hampshire. You can watch a whole entire fight right now on the Zone, or you can watch the highlights here on YouTube on the Zone's official YouTube channel, which basically covers the whole entire fight, in my opinion. Anyway, first round, pretty entertaining round. Both fighters went down. Martinez went down, Arroyo went down towards the end. And uh, if there, honestly, if there was like 30, 40 seconds left there, I think Arroyo would have been stopped. Uh, but, you know, saved by the bell. Anyway, uh, it was shaping up to be a great fight. It was shaping up to be a great fight. Second round, next thing you know, um, there was a headbutt, unintentional, that caused a cut on Arroyo. And after the second round, you know, doctors was checking on him, and uh, he couldn't continue. Said he can't see out of his right eye. So the fight, since the cut was ruled by a headbutt, was caused by a headbutt, and it the fight ended before four rounds. The fight has been ruled a no contest or a no decision. So basically, it's as if it never happened. Um, yeah, that's quite unfortunate. Uh, the question is that a lot of people bringing up, did Arroyo quit in this fight? Did Mick Williams Arroyo quit? Because a lot of people think that eye, the cut on his eye wasn't enough to actually, you know, cause the no contest. Mick Williams Arroyo claims that he can't see out of his right eye. And so the ref, the doctor said, you know, stop the fight. Do I think McWilliams Arroyo could have continued? Yeah, I think he could have. I think he felt the power of Arroyo, of uh, Martinez. And he knew that if this fight continued, the likelihood of winning is very slim. So, you know, he took a strategic way out by saying he can't see so that this fight would be ruled a no contest instead of a loss. Um, but then again, you know, Arroyo knows himself. Maybe he actually can't see out of his right eye. And, you know, maybe that right eye is, you know, maybe there's more damage to there than what we can see. Um, so he thought it's probably best for his health to not continue. Can't blame him. You know, I probably would have quit too. So, anyway... Uh, no contest fight, which is unfortunate. I don't know if we'll ever see a rematch. I don't think we will. I don't think it. I, I don't think there's a rematch. I think a rematch. Um, I think we after the first round. Even though Martinez went down, it was more of a flash knockdown. And Martinez, to me, I, like just simp like he he was just a stronger fighter. And he comes to fight, man. Martinez is a wild dog, dude. He just lets his hands go. Um. And uh, I, I think even if there's a rematch, Arroyo will probably most likely lose, lose at this point. I think I think Martinez showed that he's uh, a little too strong for uh, Arroyo to handle. So, nothing changed. Both fighters, uh, Martinez' record remains the same. 18-1, and one, 14 wins coming by way of knockout or TKO. Like I said, no contest. And same goes for Arroyo. He didn't suffer a loss in this fight. No contest as well. So, same records as before. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. What did you guys think about how this fight played out? Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And like always, have a great day. Alright, thanks.